Uh, first of all, as an organization, we are very much disappointed with our president, including the previous president. And before I express my feelings, I have to tell the whole nation that when the disabled will be marching, it's not about demonstrating, but marching so that they should remember us. No opposition party or ruling party is the one which is directing us to do what we are doing. We are talking based on the experience. From the time of KK, after FTJ, Mwanawasa, Utia Banda, Plus Basata, including Lumo, we never experienced any disabled being considered to be important. Therefore, even when Mr. H.H. H. Halainde Ichilema has come in, for the past 90 plus days he has been in power, he has never called any person with disability organization to go to his state house and discuss. And you can imagine, he has appointed eight nominated members of parliament without any disabled in parliament. Apart from that, he has appointed 116 district commissioners. And yet some of these district commissioners have got even certificate or diploma without appointing any person with disability who is able to go and represent Zambia as a district commissioner. And we noted that on Friday when there were appointment of permanent secretary, a lot of ministries have got my permanent secretaries and no personal disability. Therefore, we have discovered that um, the UPND, I'm not yet to regret what I'm going to say, including all the opposition parties that have been in power, apart from UNIQ. They have no heart for the persons with disability. We are very, very much disappointed. Because these are the people, when PF was in power, they said Buten is not making sense because when we come into power, the people with disability are going to be considered, that they are going to be considered, and when they are going to be considered, the moment we come into power, are going to consider them to be important and to be put in their position. <laughs> Unfortunately, we haven't been put in that position. And in their manifesto on page 33 and page 34, it talks about how they are going to consider a person with ability, and they haven't considered us. So it's a disappointing thing for us. Uh, but then, do you also consider the issue that perhaps uh, we, the, the president or those in government with, be, behind some of these decision-making um, you know, platforms or, or positions, we can put it that way, might not have too many people, too many options from the differently abled who are capable of doing some of these things. Yes, we might agree that they might be there, but they have not yet been exposed to, or uh, the president has not been exposed to some of these people. Have, have you put this into consideration when you make your concern known? You know, it's unfortunate that a lot of Zambians think that persons with disability, it's all about vulnerability and desperation. It's very unfortunate that a lot of Zambians you think that, like, or they think like that. You know, there are a lot of people with disability who have got masters. Like for me, although I'm not saying I'm going to be appointed, I've got masters. And the work that I do, if it was the issue of removing myself, I am a senior lecturer. I'm able to lecture people who have got eyes, and I can even lecture better than some of these guys who have got eyes. Before I was a teacher, I went to universities where they are normal, like University of Zambia, I was at Nkrumah, I even went outside in South Africa. So, so you see, there, there are even people who are more educated than me. There are people who are doctors who are in wheelchairs. And apart from that, we have got even people who are deaf, who have, who have got degrees. So you see, it's just unfortunate Zambians, when they see people with disability, please Zambians, you should be very focused. When they see people with disability, what comes into their mind is, they will just feel pity to say how you move to cover. But please, if it means running, I can run because I've got hands. If it means playing music, I can play music. Some of you, if you remember, I used to be uh, on the common radio the time I was at university. I was at common radio and I used to be called DJ my blind. I could play music better than some friends like me that you have him but my baby boy told me D and everybody some people could even drive to come and see me how I'm doing at common radio. So disability is not what thinks. What thinks is the mind. So these things to say no, they haven't seen people who are disabled who can do better. Some of us who have got better papers. I'm not trying to be appointed to become a permanent secretary. No. I am crying for all the persons with disability, at least some people to be remembered, so they can be put. You remember, there was a time for 
um, Mr. Lazarus Timbo. He was blind. And he was given a position as the state's minister under Mr. Kaunda. May so rest in peace, Pete. I mean, peace. We had people like Mr. Madam Gracie Atalumba. That woman, she was under KK. A lot of people in KK were disabled. So the problem that Zambians have, they think that they, when a person is disabled, is not educated, is poor, and is vulnerable. By the grace of God, I'm married to a woman who is able to drive me. She has got eyes, and she has got a degree in banking and finance, and she can even do things better, even if she hasn't yet found a job. I mean, disability is not what thinks. Men, so, manja, kamwa, siva many veganis. What thinks is the mind. Unless our friends who have got mental problems, then we can say, don't appoint them. Because most of we will never find somebody with a, a mental problem to be educated. Even if they can be educated, that leads to they cannot get a degree. That's a problem that we have with all political parties, not only UPN, even by PF. In fact, PF and these other who have ruled before, I wouldn't like them to entertain them because they haven't done it. Well, uh, Mr. Mlengo, I understand that you are grieved by, by some of the, uh, you know, the, the uh, um, things that are being done right now by the UPND uh, government. But with regards to this protest, this march that you are yet to have, is this the only way, is this the only resolution that you can come up with? Isn't there a better way to have dialogue with the new government? Uh, to, the, to His Excellency, I know somebody from UPND is watching me, or whosoever is in government. We had sent the letter, about three different letters. We had sent the letter, we had taken the letters to community by, to committee house, and there was no response. We had sent a letter, I think about three letters to state house. We have been told, no, the president he will be outside the country, he will be going in there, he cannot meet you, and we haven't even received any response. We are not starting from nowhere, but there is somewhere where we have started from. And apart from that, we even went to the general secretary, uh, Mr. Is it Shamenda or Himenda, the current general secretary for European? He has got my number. But okay, Whenever Menda. I'm even calling him, he cannot even pick my line. So they, they are not ready to consider that disability can be part and parcel of their political power, their ruling party. And you see, the, the thing that I've noticed, like Mr. Gary Combo. We appreciate him. He brought up to say in the word committee, reformed committee, we expect even persons with disabilities to be part and parcel of what the, how are they calling it, what development committees to be. They have to include one disabled in it. But when you look at, uh, at the word at the word level, you have also to look at uh, what kind of people are going to be found in that committee. It's rare to find somebody with a master's who's going to be in that word committee. They will just speak maybe Manzanga, Manzanga, Wakuchi, Pata, Wajawuchi, so Punzila, grade 7, grade 9, my wide level, MP may not even come and meet such people. So it's important, that we, what we want is for them to put the disabled even at higher level. Because when I, when I go to vote, my vote won't be counted to say it's a disabled, this vote is going to be given half. No, the vote is going to be big. And apart from that, what people should also put in their mind is that if, for example, me, I'm 33, 34, I thank God I was born blind, and if it means coming to see at the moment, I don't want to see, I enjoy it just like this God is powerful. So that people, they should know that a blind person can do something better than sighted colleagues. You see, if a person who's blind like me is appointed at the age of 33, that means a youth has been appointed and the disabled has been appointed. So it means he has done a double thing. If a woman who's disabled has been appointed, it means it's a double thing. A woman and a disabled has been appointed. And those of you who are journalists, I'm trying to, I'm not even trying, I would like to challenge you. From the time His Excellency started addressing the parliament, I'm not going to talk about these other excellence who have left because we haven't seen them talking about disability. You, you discover that he has never talked about a disabled and how a disabled are going to be helped. Or what they end up, they end up on youth, women, youth, women, youth, but what about us? Uh, Where let's, are we? Let's conclude with uh, the march or the protest that you, you plan on having as the differently abled. Uh, tell us about this, when it's uh, scheduled to take place and what the events are expected to be. Well, this match, where it is going to take place, I want to tell the people that we are not forcing this is the excellence to give us position 
but we are reminded that we are in the, we are also part and parcel. And apart from Zambia is a signatory, I'm coming to the match. Zambia is a signatory to United Nations. And in 2012, they signed under the law to say disabled people should be recognized. And this a constitution, although it hasn't given a domesticated to give it a, a will to say whether a president wants or not, he can put a person with disability. It's not like the way it is with our women, where at the constitution level they say at least 30 people or 30 percent people must be women. But disabled has also been part and parcel under the United Nations. We are asking for the president, those who are advising the president, to say his excellency must show the willingness to say these people are disabled and i also love them you remember during the campaign time right you could see the president the, his excellency mr akainde Hlema, could find himself with disabled and even even have interaction but from the time he became a president yeah we have never seen such a thing our colleagues who are you who are pf it was almost the same so how we are going to do is we have applied to the police they have accepted they have given us we are going to start matching from the uh, cabinet there. Then we'll be moving until maybe we reach up to state house. We are going to have banners and we're going to do during the day of International Day for the Disabled on 3rd December. The reason why we're going to do on 3rd December is that um, on 3rd December, we are calling upon all the disabled not to attend the International Day of the Disabled, but to match. And the match is not going to be shouting to say, hey, give us job. <laughs> We have to match a humble match so that the president and even the vice president, they should know that persons with disability, they are also in the nation.